Welcome to Mass Expert Video Tutorials. Uh, we are still journeying through linear algebra, and here we are upper and lower triangular matrices. So, we are going to see how we can find the upper triangular matrix and lower triangular matrix. Alright, and you will allow it. Alright? So, now, a square matrix, all we all know a square matrix. 2 by 2 is a square matrix, 3 by 3 is a square matrix, 3 by 2 is not a square matrix. Alright, so a square matrix are called upper or lower triangular if all its components below or above the main diagonal are zeros. Are what? Zeros. What are we are saying is like this. For instance, let's say we have a matrix like this, then we have this here. I'm considering 3 by 3 here. Alright, so then we have it to be 0. Alright, so we have here to be 0, here to be 0. Now, we are saying that this is an upper triangular one matrix because you can see that there is a triangle forming here obviously so the one with zero is now is what we call what the upper triangular one matrix and we also have so the upper we also have the lower so the lower to what do you think it will be hmm? all right so you see the lower triangular matrix to be like this Then it will be 0, 0, 0. So, having this, that is what we call the lower triangular what? matrix. So, that is the upper triangular matrix and the lower what? Triangular what? matrix. Please. Now, we have done row exponent form and reduced row exponent form. Please, it's not the same as this. For the row echelon form and the reduced row echelon form, you see, we try to achieve the leading diagonals here to be what? 1, 1, 1, 1. Here, 1, 1, 1, 1. But in this, it's not like that. Here, the idea is that we want to make here 0. That's all. We don't care about what will come here. Alright. So, make sure when you are showing an example, you get to understand all these that I'm saying. So, let's move on. Alright. So now there are some method and uh, there are so many methods of solving this LE. That is the upper triangular matrix and the lower triangular matrix. There are a lot of methods. We can check the books and all that. But from what we are going to do here, we are going to build on using row operation to obtain the upper triangular what? matrix. And you will love it. Alright? Let's look at this example. So now, we want to achieve the lower triangular matrix and the upper triangular matrix in this question. So now, as we said, we are using the row operation. So let's go 3, 6, 9, 2, 5, 1, 1, 1, 8. Alright, so now, the idea is that we want to achieve something like we want to achieve this first that is the upper triangular matrix so we want to make it 0 we want to make it 0 here to be 0 not that we want to make it 1 1 1 1 so mm, what will we do to make it to be 0 so that is the idea alright so now so at row 2 at row 2 you can see clearly that what do we have here? Two, right? We have two here. Okay. So you can see clearly that when we divide these two by three and multiply by row one, we are going to achieve zero here. Because here is two, right? This row two is two. So if you take two over three, to multiply this 3, 
this three will cancel this. And we have a two minus one, two. And that will help us to get the one, the zero. So take this and put it as new row up, two. All right. Back to this. We want to also make. We want to also make here to be zero. So what will you do to make that place to be zero? All right. So now you start your upload three. So write that first. Minus. So now you can see that. From what we are having, what can we do to make here to be zero? You can see that, watch, watch. Referencing to the first row. Here is one, and here is three. All right. So now, if I divide this one by three, and multiply by row one, One over three times row one will make it to be one. There will be one minus one. So that I can get the there to be one. Zero. Beautiful. Beautiful. So let's report what the result is going to be. So there is like there is like there is like this. Here you just do the substitution. So if you want to know so it will be two minus two over three. Then row 1 is what? 3. So you will consider this. So here is 3. So you can see the result is what? 0. And we are putting all in what? New row 1. Row 2. So this row 1 will not be affected. How you can see that? Alright. So you get 0 here. Then you come back again. Using the same formula. So we are now with this. We are now with this. We are now with this. So, row 2, 5. How we are watching? Minus 2 over 3. Row 1, 6. Right? So, with this, we are going to get. Uh -huh. This will cancel this, right? So, here, it, 3 will go into 6. 2. 2 to 4. So, 5 minus 4, you get what? 1. Alright, so that means that we are going to get one here. Then after that, you go for this one too. So the same way, then you'll be doing it like that on your watch calculator. So that's what you're going to do. Here's going to be one, here's going to be negative five. And coming back to this, it's still the same thing. Here will be zero, negative one, five. Alright, so now. Now that we have it, you can see we want to make here zero, zero. Oh, sweet. We have achieved it. But we want to make here to be zero. We want to make this to be zero. So now you can see clearly that if you deal with this to this, this cannot be zero. Because if you add this to this or subtract, this cannot be zero. But you can see that if you consider the row 2 and the row 3, if you add this to this, you get zero. And adding this to this will not change yet. Like adding this to this will change this. So here you can consider the row 2 and the row 1, 3. Alright. Beautiful. So let's move. So here, we can take row 1. And add it to a row two to achieve new row at three. Beautiful. All right. So now let's move on. So. There will be no problem with the row, the first and the second row. So here, add this, you get zero. Add this, you get zero. Add this, you get zero here too. Okay, zero. All right. So now we can see that that year is not the leading diagonal yet. That year is that you being able to make here to what zero. That's all. So since this is zero. We can say that this is our what? 
upper triangular what? Matrix. Because you can see that they, we have zeros now and the numbers on top. So this is the, the upper triangular what? Matrix. Good. Mm. Now let's see how we can also achieve the lower triangular matrix from what we have done here. Alright. So you are not going to write all the rules you use in getting the upper triangular matrix. So these are the rules. R2 minus 2 over 3 R1. Alright? Putting it in row out 2. Okay? We have R3 minus 1 over 3, R1, putting it in what? Row 3. Alright. And the next one is R1 plus R2 minus R3, putting it in new row. That. So, the rule, we are going to write the inverse. The inverse form of, of the rule. So what is going to be the inverse form of the rule? It's just going to be this. R2, the sign here will just change. If it's minus, to go to plus. That's all. So here is going to be plus 2 over 3. R1. Here is going to be R3, since it's plus, you change to what? Sorry, since it's minus, you change to plus. 1 over 3. R1 minus R2. Beautiful. Beautiful. So now, after writing the inverse, now, you have 23 rule. So after writing the inverse, then, you are not going to write the lower triangular matrix. Let's see how you are going to get you will have it. Alright, so now we are going to write an identity matrix for our matrix. So we know that our matrix from the question, it was 3 by 3 matrix, right? So the identity matrix for the 3 by 3 matrix is going to be 1, 1, 1. So 0, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0. Is that also? Then we apply this inverse matrix to what? To it. So when you come, R2 plus 2 over 3, R1, you apply it to it. Then we have R3 plus 1 over 3, R1. Then you let it affect that R1 minus R2. Then you let that to affect that. Beautiful. Beautiful. So let's see how we are going to get it. So now, this means that we are putting it at new row at row 2. This is at row 3. This is at row 1. So that means that with this, the row 1 and row 2 will not be affected. So, you can repeat 1, 0, 0. We are putting it at row 3. So, row 1 and row 3 will not be affected. 0, 0, 1. Alright. So now, here that is going to be affected. So, row 2. So, here is 0. Then, you multiply 1 by this, then you get 2 over what? 3. How many people are getting what I'm, I'm doing? We are doing substitution here. Alright. So, when you do that, you will see that here yes, you will have 2 over 3. Because R2 is 0. So here R1 is what? 1. 1 multiplied like this, you get that. And the rest, the rest, you have to know that the 1 will maintain, here will be 0. You have to know from here because R2 here is 1, right? But R1 is 0, so 0 multiplied is it will go, so it will be like 1. 0, 0, 2 will just clear up. That's all. 
It will just be zero plus zero. It will be zero. Alright. So what should this be? Do it on your own. Mm. So that one you are going to get one zero. First of all, you know that you are putting it at row three. So row one and row two will not be affected. So zero, zero, one, zero. It's only row three that it should work affected. Alright. So that one should go to be one over three, zero, one. It's just simple. Uh, you know that 1 over 3 multiplying R1 1. And you know R1 is 1, so it will be left. Alright, mm. the same way like this, we are putting it at row 1. So row 2 and row 3 will not be affected. But here will be affected. So add this to this, you get it to 1. Add this to this, you get. Oh, sorry. When this uh, 1 minus 0, you get 1. 0 minus 1. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Here is row 3, 2. Here is row 3 to row 2. So we are putting it at row 3. Sorry. Alright, alright, yeah. So we are putting it there. Sorry. So that means that mm -hmm, that's why. Right. So that means that now putting it at row three. So no problem here. No problem here. So here will be what affected. All right. So now this minus this. Okay, let's go. Row three minus row two. So row three minus row two, this minus this minus this zero. This minus this, right? We get negative one. This minus this, we get one there. All right. So now we are now going to multiply what we have here. And if you want to multiply what you have here. Don't worry yourself, put it into calculator, okay? I'm going to give you the short technique. Now let's check the first rows. You can see that the leading here is 1, here is 1, here is 1. This means that here will be 1. Here is 0, here is 0, here is 0. That means that here will be 0. That means that here will be 0. Let's come to this side. 2 over 3. Here is 0, here is 0. That means that here will be 2 over 3. You can multiply and see what you do. Here is one, here is one, here is one, here is one. Here is zero, here is zero, here is zero. Here is zero, here is zero, here is one over three, here is zero. Here is one over three. <laughs> here is zero, zero, negative one, here is negative one. It always goes with the number. One, 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 two, one. Alright, so now you can see that we are having the lower triangular matrix here. The idea is not by the one over one yet. It can change. Alright. So therefore, this becomes the lower triangular matrix. Therefore, we can conclude and say that Oh. Okay. So therefore, we can conclude and say that A is equal to N you. What we are saying is that if you multiply the matrix giving you, which is 3, 6, 9, 2, 5, 1, 1, 1, 8, it will be the same as you multiplying the lower triangular matrix. Now, when you multiply the lower triangular matrix by the upper triangular matrix, you are going to get your main what matrix. So that's how you do it. Let me give you some to try so that you will explore more, okay? So you can go and try on. You can go and try on. Try two, four, three, one, three, one. 
seven, five, six. All right. So we are going to solve for A is equal to what? L U. And then 